another incredible episode is coming your way, guys, because Echo, Echo with uh, it's a boy that's born on a Thursday. Echo is yeah. Ghanaian, South African now, and he yeah. runs a property management company called Big Grand, and he is our incredible guest. He teaches, yeah. right? You are in for yes. an. You've got to have a notebook, guys. You've, you need a notebook and you need time yes. and you need to sit down. If you are listening to this in the car, great. You're going to need to re listen with a notebook this time. <laughs> Hi, Echo. Welcome to our podcast. And thank you, thank you again for making it. It's always a pleasure. Hi, Echo. So lovely to have you on the show. Please, can you tell us who you are and what you do? So, so I'm Echo Quigreen, and I'm a real estate investor. Okay. So a part of what we do, I run a company, a founder of a company called Big Grand Holdings, uh, trading as Big Grand Properties. And what we okay. do basically is to do property investment, um, sales, a, a part of it's sales, rental, student accommodation. Uh, okay. Yes, that's, that's in essence what Big Grand is about. Okay, so Big Grand is, a, is, a, is registered with the EAAB. You, you have agents in there and you train. Yes. yes. How is it? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't yes. understand that. Oh my goodness all righty that is so great but what's your background echo did you start in prep in property or do you, you fell into property or was it a deliberate intentional thing that you ended up here okay so let the last part it was a deliberate intentional thing being a property investor but okay my background i've got an honest degree in met at from fitch university um, I'm a banker by profession. I was an oh. investment banker at Rand Merchant Bank and okay. worked at FMB okay. as a business development manager for FMB Africa. So I was I looking after Botswana, Lesotho, uh, Mozambique, Tanzania. Those were my okay. portfolios that I used to work okay. and worked for five years of my life and then got into property finally. So property has always been a first love. And the reason oh, okay. why property has always been first love is I got introduced into property or it was triggered by my mom when, and I've said this story so many times, but because whenever you ask how you got into property, that's how it yeah. got into property. So we, we've so never had it. Yeah. So when <laughs> I, so when I was a child as yeah. growing up in Ghana, my yeah. mom was the secretary and we middle class in terms of we're not rich, we're not poor, we just middle class people. So she couldn't afford to buy a car, but she didn't have a car. And those days, the companies used to rent their premises to the senior employees. So one day I asked my mom, why don't you have a car? Because all your friends or your colleagues around, staying around us, got, they've got a car. She said to me, Life revolves around the four basic needs of human beings. Yeah. Shelter, which is a house, food, clothing, water, and electricity. Yeah. And, and therefore, a car, a, a, a car to her at that time, it's not, it wasn't, wasn't a necessity, which she's right, because as I grew and understood the property and I got to research more about property. I got to understand what my mom was saying, but I also yeah. got to understand it on a commercial level. What mm -hmm. the power of real estate can do for you. Yeah, the power of real estate. Underline that, underline right. that. Okay, so to be honest, when I was growing up, again, it's influenced by the, the neighbors that's, yeah. we're staying around us mm. so even though I never had a direct mentor I observed business owners around me yes oh my god that's such a gem yeah, yeah.